This wonderful operatic voice belongs to a protodeacon Dmitry Vengersky from the Svetogorsky Monastery in Donetsk, an industrial center in eastern Ukraine controlled by pro-Russian separatists since 2014. This is basically one of the Ukrainian Orthodox churches singing anathema to the head of another Ukrainian Orthodox church. So how many Orthodox churches are in Ukraine and how do they relate to each other? This is a very complex question, especially after the events of 2014 and the War of 2022. Historically, both in the Imperial Russia and in the Soviet Union, Ukraine was one of the most religiously diverse regions. And her diversity was predominantly represented by different Christian communities – Orthodox, Catholic and Protestant. When it comes to the Orthodox Church, since 1686 and until the collapse of the Soviet Union, Ukrainian Orthodox Church was a metropolia of the Moscow Patriarchate. In the 1990s, Ukraine engaged in multiple decommunization and de-Russification processes, one of which resulted in multiple Orthodox churches, all claiming to represent the Orthodox majority of the country. One of the major leaders became Filariad Denisenko, now 93 and still a patriarch of the Ukrainian Orthodox Church of Kiev Patriarchate. In 1990, he was one of the candidates to the position of the Patriarch of Moscow and all Rus. After some power struggle in 1992, he was excommunicated by Moscow Church, so he founded his own Patriarchate, rejecting the power of Moscow Church over Kiev. His church is not recognized by any one of the canonical Orthodox churches in the world. In 2018, a significant part of his church and another one, Ukrainian Autocephalos Orthodox Church, merged into a new one called the Orthodox Church of Ukraine. Largely supported by the state power, this church was meant to be a unified Orthodox Church for the whole Ukraine. Hilariet, however, did not recognize the unification and still claims his church to represent the country. Naturally, another powerful Orthodox Church in Ukraine is the one that belongs to Moscow. She did not recognize the newly established United Church and even engaged in an open conflict with the Byzantium Church, a formerly mother church to all canonical Eastern Orthodox churches. It is important to note that even though this church is formerly a metropolia of the Russian Orthodox Church, a significant part of it did not support the annexation of Crimea by Russia and nowadays openly criticized Moscow Patriarch for his loyalist position on the war in Ukraine. Before the Russian invasion, most Orthodox believers in Ukraine, especially the least devoted majority, were not much into the differences between the churches and simply attended the one they were used to, liked better or lived closer. Please like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. I see you all next time.